Sally Clark. I'm the innkeeper here at the Holden House Bed and Breakfast Inn in Colorado Springs. We're a 1902 Victorian. We have three lovely homes, a carriage house, a house next door, and a main house. And we have six guest rooms located in the beautiful Pikes Peak region of Colorado Springs in El Paso County in Colorado. So we'd love to have you come and stay with us. All of our suites have fireplaces and most have tubs for two in our suites. Uh, today we're going to make a really simple dish. It is uh, Southwestern Eggs Fiesta, which is one of our signature dishes, and it's super easy. So if you want to make it for a brunch, you can adapt it very easily for a different number of people, and I'm going to show you how we do that. So we start out, first you need a ramekin, and we've gone ahead and coated the ramekin with um, non-stick uh, spray. And then we have our ingredients here. We've got two eggs, so it's two eggs per person. We have here some turkey ham. Uh, here at the Holden House, we usually try and use turkey ingredients, and it makes it a little easier if folks don't necessarily like to eat pork, so that offers a good option. Then we have a half of a flour tortilla, and this again is per person, so you can adapt it to however many people you have for your breakfast. And then we have a couple of chunks of cheese. I use Colby here, um, that's a Colby and Monterey Jack mix. Uh, you can use cheddar cheese, you can use Monterey Jack, um, you can use pepper jack cheese, so just mix it up however you like it best. So very easy. We're going to go ahead and break two eggs into the ramekin. Uh, if you break your eggs on a countertop, it really does prevent you from getting eggshells in your, um, in your ramekin. So hit them on the counter and just break them. And we're going to discard the shells. Always make sure that you've washed your hands thoroughly before you start any preparation of food. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the tortilla in here. And so it just kind of lines the ramekin on the sides. We're going to add a little bit of turkey ham in there. We're just going to place that in there and then lay a couple of pieces of cheese on top. Now the other piece that's important on this particular dish is to take a piece of foil and what we're going to do is we're going to take that foil and we're going to put it around the edge and the reason we do that is when you go ahead and bake it, it tends to get the, um, the tortilla too brown and it can actually burn it. So you want to put something around the edge to keep it from burning. Now I like to use Mrs. Dash. This happens to be the Fiesta Lime and we're going to go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of that on the top. And then I also have some fresh thyme here from the garden. And an easy way, make sure that you wash your, your, any of your herbs ahead of time and dry them. But with thyme, it's really easy because you can just slide your hand across the, um, the stem and it just automatically pulls it right off very easily so that you can add it into your ramekin. So now we're pretty much ready to go ahead and bake this. So we're going to put it on a cookie sheet. Now obviously here at the Holden House we have six rooms, so we can accommodate up to 12 guests. So we might have to expand the number, but I just used a very small cookie sheet here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and then I'm going to pop this in the oven. And as I put this in the oven, I make sure that it's on the second shelf. It tends to cook a little better. I usually cook either at 350 in a regular oven, or we have a convection oven, so 325 works on convection uh, at about 20 to 30 minutes, so just kind of keep an eye on it. So here we are. We're going to take it out of the oven. All baked. This is what it looks like. Mm. And we're going to put it on the counter here. It's very hot, so be careful. And run your knife around the edge to make sure it's well loosened. Really important when you start out with this to make sure that you coat it well with a non-stick spray. Otherwise it doesn't come out quite so easily. it's loosened all the way around. Now if, if it works right, which sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, you can either take a, a spoon and looks like it's going to lift out just fine there on the plate. 
you can either if you if you like sour cream or you like salsa you can add it right on top so it really adds a nice look or you can use little ramekins like we often do because we don't always know if, if people maybe like sour cream dislike or want salsa or not um, again just add here's my little sprig of thyme and to add a little color to the plate I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of my my Mrs. Dash with lime you could use a little bit of paprika maybe even a little light amount of chili pepper on here and now we're going to set it on the tray, ready to deliver to a room. We also serve in the dining room in the at the breakfast table as well. So here's our breakfast tray. Uh, we have coffee, we have fresh baked muffins, we do a fruit cup in the morning with granola and a yogurt topping. And then here's our lovely Eggs Fiesta dish. Again, you can adapt this very easily to uh, one or more people. So you can serve it just for one or you can serve it for multiple folks as long as you have um, the ramekins in order to bake them in. Bon appetit! So this was, this was this edition for In the Kitchen at the Holden House 1902 Bed and Breakfast Inn in Colorado Springs. And here we have our Eggs Fiesta, Southwestern Eggs Fiesta, some fresh baked muffins, some fresh fruit, orange juice, and freshly ground coffee all ready for the breakfast table to enjoy. And uh, we hope that you'll come and see us soon in the Pikes Peak region.